I can finally, finally, finally get this Articuno off of my screen. I was going to do it off stream, but I thought, why don't I just do it on stream, you know? So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's see, what is the first thing we're going to do? I did, Long Dong. I did. Very excited about it. Thank you for stopping by, buddy. I hope you're doing well. Congrats. Thank you. Actually, you know, the crazy thing, too, is that video of me getting it, just the reaction alone, has been popping off. Like, it's done so much. Oh, you hit me with the subscribe? Dude, you did not have to do that, but thank you so much for that. That means the world to me. I really appreciate that. Let me find... So before we start our first soft reset, I'm looking for a folder. How's the audio, by the way? Everything sound good, I'm hoping? Where's my stupid thing at? Yeah, sounds good. Good, 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 good. Um, I don't know where the folder's at. Damn it. Thank you again. I mean, that's crazy. This PC desktop. Alright, let's try that. Browse. This PC. Desktop. No. Alright, that didn't really work. Cancel. Pokeballs. Uh, I want to catch it in a Premier Ball. That's the primary. But if I don't get primary, uh... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. But if I don't get it in the primary Pokeball, then I want to get it in, um, a Pokeball. Do that so we change that to a premier ball and then target Moltres. Anyways, I was just popping by. Good luck. Hey, thank you again so much. That means a lot. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the sub. That's awesome of you. I hope you have a good night. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. I'll be streaming the next two days as well. Here's to hoping we can get a fast and easy shiny hunt. Please let me get something fast and easy. Alright, here we go. First soft reset. We are 4x hunting. Imagine first try. Oh, it's so nice to not be looking at Articuno. Is there a way to unzip files so that I can actually access them? Uh, why is it even zipped? I don't even know what that means. Oh, okay. All right. I see. I see. Um, uh. 
Moltres ain't bad either. Honestly, I kind of like Moltres, and the sprite in this game looks pretty fire. <laughs> no pun intended. Just kidding, I intend all my puns. We're almost ready to do our uh, Darmanitan hunt, by the way. I've got one game loaded with six rage, uh, rage candy bars. And then I've got two for a second game. I need six on each game. So we've got one game ready. And we're a third of the way to two. And if my DSs would start working, I could do... I could do f two a day. And it is kind of hard to tell, but each of my DS's uh, is facing Moltres from a different direction. Moltres, I feel like, is going to be much easier to tell, so we're going to try and do soft resets while the shadow's coming across the screen, and hopefully we can knock this under 12 seconds. Under 20, I mean. That was exactly 20 seconds. That was big. I had a big brain strategy I was planning to do for this as well. 
I was planning to, um, what's it called? I was planning to use Taunt to make it use all of its fire moves and then just sw uh, switch in a grass type Pokemon. But the issue is Taunt in this game only lasts two turns. And your first turn using it, like, whatever. So it the first turn is the turn that you use Taunt, and the second turn is the turn after that. So you literally can only force one turn. It's a huge waste. Incredibly frustrating. So Taunt is not nearly as good in Gen 3 as it is in future generations, and because of that, we've decided not to use the Taunt strategy. Or not lean as heavily into it as uh, we were planning to originally. Oh, the endless staircase. Oh my gosh. Super Mario 64 has just some amazing soundtracks. So as I told y'all before, uh, the girlfriend had a dream uh, that I was going to get this in under 2000. So let's see if, if she's bringing me some good luck.
Oh, this is a good one too. Another week, boys, and another toe-wob! This week at Bungie, we celebrate the Festival of the Lost. Dude, I'm just gonna sit here and rock out to this music all night. It's gonna help me get through this real fast. I feel like we're schmoovin'. You know? You know how exciting it's gonna be when I finally transfer them up to Gen 9 and actually use these birds and competitive? Like, could you imagine I go to a regionals or whatever and I make a video on it and I'm like, hey, Y'all remember that Articuno that I spent 76 hours wasted my life on hunting? Well, it helped me win top cut in this regional.
Get out of here with these freaking commercials, little bro. What are you doing? We ain't about that life. Ooh. Oh, this music. I think this is the music you listen to when you fight Bowser, right? Anytime you enter into the Bowser fights. Alright, already 200 encounters in, and we're less than 20 minutes, so we're doing more than 100 encounters per 10 minutes, which is very good, I would say. So, what, about 600 encounters an hour? Which ain't bad. Which means it'll take less than 4 hours to hit 2,000. Maybe like three and a half. Two one two, baby. Are you part of the two one two crew? You built for that?
What do y'all think about... Alright, so I was thinking about this earlier today. I'd love to get your take. Do you like catching Pokemon fully evolved? That's one sexy layout. Dude, I know. You know, the guy who made it is big brain genius. I wish I was as talented as that guy. How are you doing, Pigeon? Thank you for stopping by, buddy. I hope you're doing well. I'll have to meet him sometime? Yeah. I can't recommend him enough. He's been a great friend. Better than great. I was wondering though, Pidge, how did you make this layout? Like, did you do it in Photoshop or something? Because I'd like to make a, a similar one. I'm going to say under 1k, you need a win. Oh my gosh, thank you. The girlfriend had a dream while we were still in Articuno, and she, her dream, in her dream, I got it in under 2k. So I like your numbers better, but I'm I'm feeling feeling lucky right now. What is this? Not sure what's going on here. PlayStation game where he's changing. Yeah, I use Photoshop, but there are other free software you can use too. I mean, I have Photoshop. I was just curious. And did you make it from scratch or was this like a, a background or, or some images that you found and you were able to mash them together? I'm just already pretty well versed in Photoshop. Yeah. I've, I've got very basic things down on Photoshop just to make like the very basic thumbnails that are on my YouTube. But now that I've done this, the next layout I've got to work on is uh, a single screen, like a big screen. So that when I do find the shiny, I can just switch to that one so you're not having to look at all four screens. The block texture on the green was an image I overlaid, but the rest was handmade. Wow. You're awesome. How's work been for you? Busy? You had the last two days off, right? So today was your first day back? Yeah, I was supposed to be there overnight, but they cut me a break. Heck yeah, big break. Couldn't tell you why. Because you deserve it. Because they recognized you for the hard worker you are. Because I called your boss. I was like, listen here. Pigeon needs a break. Don't make me come up there. He was like, yes sir, right away. Doubtful? Don't you press X to doubt that. Pretty trash worker.
I've spent all day looking at looking at new places to live. It's been crazy, dude. Whoa, we may need to work on that censoring on the chat box. Did it censor you? Did it like cut out the the bad word on your previous message? I didn't even I didn't even look. Oh, you're talking about me not saying what you said. No, it didn't, which is the problem. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can see. I see what you're saying. Man, wouldn't want anything on the Savory and Nevada. Very true. What, um... I was gonna say that this music, like, this music is slapping. It's going hard. I'm loving the sound of it. It's, it's pumping me up. We're gonna have a nice long stream, guys. I feel like I've got a maximum of 5,000 encounters in me. But, I really want Pidge to be right. I need, I need a big win in Kanto, okay? And what better way to win than a sub 1000 Moltres shiny that we catch first ball in a premier ball. The perfectionist in me has been thinking about rehunting Articuno just to get it in a dive ball now that I thought about uh, taunt, but I, I don't want it. So when do I need to start working on that PS1 game screen? Um, Honestly, I'm probably not going to start that until start of January. So I'll probably do it in January. You already have an idea for what you want to do as a background? What are you going to do as a background? We'll probably dedicate the majority of January to uh, playing non-shiny hunting games. We'll do a little bit of shiny hunting in January, but I think the majority of it's going to be playing through some more collection games that we've got. We might give XCOM a try again, but if, if it hard crashes on me, then that's it. Honestly, I'll probably just let you full screen the game and just make a cool background thing for the cam. Once I move and I get more financially stable, I think the next thing I'm going to invest in for my uh, stream is going to be a green a back a green screen. Um, there's a streamer I really like for Destiny called Astacross. One of my favorite streamers ever. He's hilarious, but. He has, I'm guessing it's a green screen. Because, like, his background doesn't really exist, and it's just gameplay behind him. So you've got, you got his face, and then you've got, like, a banner that goes underneath his face. And then that's it. And then it's gameplay. And you can use it as a full thing, too. Full screen thing, too. What do you mean a full screen thing? Where did you go, Squirrel? Squirrel? I like the way he says that. Squirrel? You wanted one for when you get a shiny. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a, just a, like a single screen layout that I can switch to, and it just pulls up only the game that is necessary. But I mean, I guess I could technically just do this, right? I could just switch to this. So it's not that bad. I don't really need one. Alright, once we hit 400, we're gonna take a quick stretch break. My tummy has got the rumblies. And we're gonna get some healthy stretching in, make sure that we're not overworking ourselves. I can't say it enough, but this music slaps, bro. It is good. They... Mario, Pokemon, some of the best music ever. Halo, amazing. Truly wonderful. You ever watch Doug Doug? No, I've never heard of Doug Doug. What is that? His stream lights are top tier, like seriously. I honestly thought when you said Doug Doug, I thought it was like, uh... I thought it was like a TV show. I thought you were gonna say it's like a cartoon. Watch some of his vids, it's like a spectacle. What game does he play? of stuff honestly nice he's a pretty big streamer on YouTube I've actually been thinking now that they've made it the thing made it available I should really start upping my game and start streaming to both YouTube and twitch at the same time Maybe even triple go big and do kick at the same time. I have to read through all the TOS and stuff to make sure I don't break any rules. But you know, you get your audiences going. It's how you get big, right? Is you just gotta get enough exposure out there. Which, again, I'm gonna be saying it all night, but thank you all so much for all of your support. We'll go a little bit past 400. Thank you for all your support recently. Um, the fact that we're doing this Moltres hunt just goes to show that I really appreciate everything that you guys have done. We've broke 50 subs. We're actually almost at 60. Huge, huge accomplishment. I'm so happy that we're already here. Um, and that Articuno, just the reaction, it wasn't even me catching it or the full video with all three. That one's now my most viewed YouTube video on my channel. So I have all of y'all to thank, all of your support. So thank you so much. And now we gotta push 
to 100 subs. I don't know what we're gonna do for 100 subs. I was thinking maybe we do Gen 5's um, Genie Trio. Or maybe we do Manaphy. Oh, we're gonna hit 444. Four, four. four is my lucky number. So. Let's see it. Big Shiny on 444. Four, four. Kinda wanna get a copy of Fire Red Leaf Green. IDK though, it's still pretty expensive. Yeah. That's 444. Four. Alright, quick stretch break. I'll be right back. I'm gonna uh, get up and do some stretchies. Get something to drink. And then uh, when I get back, we'll push to 1k.
All right, everybody, quick stop. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of grinding on fire uh, on black and white. I can get multiple things. I don't know what you call them. Okay, so I was faster. It just doubled its speed. I increased by one. It's faster than me. It uses Volt Switch. I just have to try and beat this uh, before the timer expires. And I'll get another Rage Candy Bar. All right, so two bat, uh, two trainers down. I've got. Four more to go. And unfortunately, it's on a timer, so I'm not going to do any soft resets until I finish this. This was a test to see if this would actually work, and it does work, which is insane. Really? It's going to dodge? Don't knock me out. Please don't knock me out. Damn it, it knocked me out. Stupid thing. Go, Samurott! Hit it with your revenge attack! Wait, why did it... Oh. It has to recharge. Really? You're just gonna keep hitting Swagger? You're not even gonna try and hit me? Please hit your attack, Samurots. Thank you. Y'all wanna see? Alright, hopefully I break out of confusion, cause then I'll one-shot this Waylord with Grass Knot. Nice, I snap out, hit it with the grass knot. Let's see if that one shots. No. Man, this guy's really wasting my time here. Wait, why is it still alive? Oh, Surf can hit enemies that dive underwater. That's nice. I did not know that. Alright, that's three trainers down. Finally. Alright, I don't know how much time I got left. Damn it. Alright, so there's one. We need two more after this. It's gonna be very close. I need to sweep this girl really fast. Bro Tom, that's unfortunate. We're about to get... This is gonna go by really slowly. Come on. I thought I turned off battle animations. Really? Zen mode triggered. I hate that. Okay. 
X. Oh my gosh, get out of here, bro. It's just wasting my time. And all the Pokemon are so weak. I'm getting clapped. Alright, let's hope Zeb Striker can take care of a Loma Lomala. Alomomola. Hydro Pump, please don't KO. Alright, Wild Charge. Hopefully this KOs. No shot. Miss, and it didn't miss. We still have one more Pokemon after this to beat this girl, and we still need two more trainers. We're just going to send in Samurai, uh, Archeops. Turn that down just a smidge. Hit a rock slide, please. Thank you. That should just one shot. Two more trainers, come on, give me some good luck. Hopefully this one's one. Alright, there we go. We just need to knock her out quickly and then one more trainer. Pokemon down. Two Pokemon down. Then we just send in Samurant and we use Surf. Alright, up or down? Do we go up and check the two doors up, or do we check the two doors down? Let's go down. Nothing down, alright. We got a 50-50 chance. Let's go for this door first. Damn it. No! We took the wrong door.
Alright, so there's four trainers on the left side, two on the right. He's gonna nasty plot it up. We'll use hammer on. And we'll just use Zeb Striker. And we're just going to discharge our way to victory here. Please para uh, paralyze. Full restore, he's wasting my time. Zeb Striker is so freaking weak, dude. There we go. Walking to the the river, looking at the Christmas lights, and I'm gonna walk back. Oh, that's alright. I'm not gonna go right now. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. I'll go later. Did two more raids. And yeah. I failed both catches. You got what? I did two more raids, and I failed both catches. For what rush room? Uh, no. So I did one rush room. One was a uh, what's the red scyther? Scissor. Yeah, scissor. Mm -hmm. Uh, failed him. Uh, yeah, did the raid, but failed both catches. Hmm. That sucks, I'm sorry. Yeah. But, right now I'm trying to... The theater, went to go see Wish. Before we hopped in, I, uh, beat the gym, put my strongest one with, the uh, right... Oh, the strongest right horn. Yeah. Put him in there, and then when we left, uh, two more mystics added in there. I was like, baby, put your mystic. He's also a mystic. There. We got in gear up. I just fed berries to everyone's Pokemons and I left. Nice. Heck yeah. I better more boat passes. <gasps> yeah. It's like five bucks for three passes, and it's like, hell no, I'm not spending that one. Now they get you. Yeah. That's why I'm focused purely on the gym. Trying to get that. Uh, well. We were too late to check out the place. I said we just talked to a lady. And as I suspected, Wi-Fi was not included in the price. It was like, oh, well, still that's probably our best option, but we're still places. Yeah. Uh, especially since we found out that I thought it was not... You said that it was at the end of uh, February that we had until? No, end of January. See, see, that's what I remember you saying, end of February. And then Rena was telling me that she said uh, January. And I was like, oh. But, okay. Mm. Yeah. Closing in too fast, unfortunately. So you guys are going to go outside of San Antonio? Well, we're looking in South Austin and here. The, um, the, um, Utah. Utah would probably be a good place. You just got a really nice houses out there. And yeah. it's, uh, slowly, slowly growing. And remember that Utah has that 
got painter's trick where everything's all together just like a uh, backdrop has. Yeah. So if you get a nice house over there, you still be close enough to us and Granin be basically between us. And from what everyone's saying, and the family saying, it's like, go down, close him, okay? I don't know if that was the war or for Granin. Uh, probably a bit of both, but probably more so the war. I also thought that Buda is also, if she's doing school in San Antonio, it's probably like an hour. An hour from what, San Antonio? Yeah, I think so. I guess so. I don't know. I don't keep track of that stuff. I was putting it all together, I figured Buda is probably the best spot for you. Okay. Uh, most convenient. And, and also, nice house. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'll have to check it out then. Oh, okay. Aisha. I believe Aisha. Yeah, Aisha used to live out there too. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember her house is used to live out there and she used to live in the community too. Visited her uh, back in uh, when, when they went to high school. Hmm. So she could probably tell you then about that. Okay. Uh. No shot it survives on 1 HP, dude. Uh, do you know the day or how to find out the day of when they come in and collect junk? Because, you know, since that scooter's broken, I gotta toss it to the curb and for when those people pick up the crap. I uh, have no idea. Everybody just leaves it on the side, so I guess whenever that is, I just put it out there. Somebody else will probably pick it up before then. I already found out that the same girl I got, I asked her if the other one, and I just missed Archer, but there's a good chance that I'm talking about Like, uh, how much? And she's like, Alex. Nice, there you go. All right, that's three down. We've got one more trainer on this side and then two on the right side, and then we're done. All right, that's four. So now we've got plenty of time to go explore the right side and find those two trainers. We just have to get lucky. All right, Chingling goes down. See if we can one shot this worm at him. Sorry everybody that we haven't done any more soft resets. But this is a great way for me to get closer to Darmanitan. If I do this hunting tonight, I can do Darmanitan tomorrow. I don't even want to test that guy. Alright, let's start by checking up. Damn it! We got suckered into this one. Alright, here we go. Just one more trainer after this fight.
This should be fine. This should be two normal types and a fire type. Alright, my speed is half. I'm level 62 now. Alright, superpower. Please knock it out in one shot. Nice. Alright, one more trainer. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom. What do y'all think? Right or left? I'm gonna go right. Let's see what we get. Damn, it wasn't right. There we go, we got it. We're going to go ahead and use Hyper Potion here. We'll see if we survive his Jiga Impact. Damn, we do. Holy moly. Man, this Tauros is a monster. It's fast, and it hits so freaking hard. Like, holy crap. We'll try Archaeops. Come on, hurt yourself, please. Crit. Come on, one more. He crit me. I don't... I don't know. I don't believe he would have beaten... Me. Dude, look at the damage, bro. What is going on? Like, he does so much stupid damage to me. Hurt yourself, please. Thank you. Damn it. Why are you Zen moaning right now? Are you kidding me? I 
Alright, we're just gonna use a revive on Samurott. And we're gonna let Samurott finish off this Waylord. Hopefully this is enough to level up Samurott, because we need it to level up. Check this out. Surf hits even though it's in underwater. Critical hit, went away, didn't need it. Let's see how we did on time. We actually did really well on time. Pink Moltres, what's up, Andre? So that should be um, Rage Candy Bar number four. Andre, what's your prediction? I've got one person who says under 2,000. I've got Pigeon who says under 1,000. What is your guess? Under under 2k, let's get it. All right.
What have you been up to lately, buddy? You been doing anything fun?
This is okay, music. Let's let's switch to sunshine. Gave you twenty bucks already. Um, what do you want? I don't have money. I'm, I ain't got money for you. That doesn't mean you get to go over there and take my money either. I'm laying down. I just worked hard for you. Yeah, you did a great job. I don't know, I'll take three junior bacon cheeseburgers. Rice. What? Rice? No. Rice. No, thank you. Uh, no, I got stuff here. Frosty? I'm just gonna get three junior bacon cheeseburgers. Well, that's your choice. I don't know. Do you have that kind of? Do you have frosty money? I do. All right, then you can go spend frosty money. Yeah, that's what I thought. You didn't have frosty money. But I want to spend your frosty money. I don't have any money for you to get frosties with. It's like a dollar. Uh, all right. So you got that dollar since that's not that much. Oh, oh, it's not that much. Since when is a dollar not that much to you? Hmm. It's the principle. I don't need to be wasting the middle. <laughs> it's only a dollar, so go spend that dollar. <laughs> exactly. You think that's helping you get a frosty? That's yeah, because you like my little attitude. No, now you're definitely not getting one. Now you get a cup of water. That's all you get. No ice either. You don't even get ice with that water. But you want ice? What? Don't even pull that crap. We both know that's a freaking lie. She was asking me if I was going to my dad's for Christmas. What? No. You see, I'm doing something. Okay, and you get that at your family, right? What about them? She's telling me to keep her receipts for Amazon, specifically for like the shipping and stuff. Why? I don't know, in case she wants to return it. You already went through all this with her. You've already done all this. Okay, so why don't you ask her then, like an adult? I did. She doesn't. She's not making sense at all. What's she saying? Why can't you just keep the receipts? I have them. I don't delete all my right, emails. Then there you go. That's it. That's all there is but to that. But it doesn't make sense. I don't understand. It doesn't matter if it makes sense. Be sure to save all the receipts because David wants them. He thinks I am ordering them. I told him about the shipping costs so much. He told me I was wrong to look again. He orders and uses UPS all the time. He told me not to order them. He would check into it. So recheck, please. I want them. It, oh, that's your dad. He is paying for all the thing I buy because he wants to be sure I spend the money on Okay. Oh, 
why are you talking names out loud? Oh, we got five minutes to do 16 encounters, everybody. What? Why five minutes? Because it's just a timing thing. I got nine rage candy bars. Three more to go and then I'll be good to start the Darmanitan hunt.
What? Season two. Yeah. Uh, probably. I don't know. I got so many other shows I gotta watch first. I'll watch it tomorrow while you're at school. Oh. Oh, you're not here. <laughs> you gonna call in just so you don't- No! So you can watch Invincible. I need money. I'm sorry, I'm feeling sticky today. I mean, I do actually have six time that I can use. Not good to just use it, because right now it's sounding like when you were at your other job. But you just called in all the time. I did not call in all the time. You really did. I really did not. It was like every other day. Are you gonna get poo? Ow! Stop! Really? What? What are you doing? Trying to rotate my hip. My hip is like stuck. My I already did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Look. Money's. You've already got 20 in my for me. I don't. Then what'd you do with the 27 that I gave you? That's extra. Well, if you only spent 33 at the grocery store, then you should have $26 and some change. No, I'm trying to save that for groceries. No. Okay, fine. So I need, when I go to you and I'm like, hey, I need. Yeah, that. Okay. So I adjust the Serena go walk to the Christmas tree area? Yeah. That's adorable. You what? That's adorable. Linfinity Music. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold. Oh, whoa. Baby. What? Mm -hmm. You've already got the 27 that you can spend. Baby, I'm cold. Okay, we'll put on some pants. Clothes. No. Seven hundred encounters, everybody. Nice. 
Too much television watching, call me chasing dreams. I'm an educated fool with money in my mind. Got my head in my hand and a gleam in my eyes. What do you want to drink? What? What do you want to drink? Uh, I got tea here that I can drink. Oh. Oh. Thank you, though. Alright, um, let's take a quick detour for a second after this soft reset. Alright, no shiny. Let's talk about my Gen 5. Shiny DTQ. So first off, do we go Superior or do we go Samurots for the starter? Embor's really cool, but I have a different fire type in mind, so I'm not going to go Embor for the first DTQ. I really like Superior, so I'm thinking maybe we go... Maybe we go Superior. So that's a really nice shiny. That light green and the dark navy blue looks good. So I'm thinking maybe we go superior. Gen 5. DTQ. Superior. Hey, is anybody here super familiar with black and white? Okay, so you don't get access to the Musharna until end game. I really like purple Zeb Strika, so I think Zeb Strika will be our second shiny. I also really like Gigalith. What does Aldino look like? Aldino's purple? Meh. Fabregas. Kofagrigus. Swana. 
Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then we end with um, Litwick. Now that's uh, Chandler. Oh, uh, well, if. What's good, dude? New torture or hunt? <laughs> Vita, thank you so much for stopping by. It's good to see you. We took a slight break from it. We are starting the Moltres to finish off our 50 sub special. Uh, but we did just take a break. Uh, we want to look at our shiny team. Um, so we're we're doing a DTQ for Gen 5, and I'm looking at what Pokemon I want. So far I've got Superior, Zebstrika, Gigalith, Swanna, and Chandler. Zangoose is better than Superior. <laughs> Damn. You're coming out hot, huh? Alright, so what if we did Embor? Uh, what if we did Samurott, I mean? There's a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon I'm actually really excited to hunt. Uh... What games are Gen 5? Black and white. Ever played those? Nice. Yeah, I didn't play them until the recently when I beat it with just one Pokemon. So now we're wanting to do... So now that I'm actually like getting more accustomed to the Pokemon, I want to do some more shiny hunts in Gen 5. And I'm just looking at what Pokemon I want to go. Alright, and then we can go Embor. Usharna. What if I finish with Excadrill? That's not a bad, that's not a bad team right there. That gives me all kinds of coverage. Then for my Samurott team, I can go Samurott. I'm not a big fan of Conkelder. All right, Lilligant or Maractus? Both of them are really cool and I want both of them pretty badly. Maractus has an amazing shiny. the shinies for those. Look them up, yeah. When do you get access to Zorua? Gift in Castelia City. Ooh, uh, gift Pokemon. Gift.
I like both shinies though. I think I dig Lilligant more, but maybe it's Legends Arceus bias. Oh, because of the fighting, the fighting form it gets, right? Oh well, I'm stalling, aren't I? Let's get back to it. You like... the, uh... Hisuian Lilligant a lot? It is pretty cool. I, I think, honestly... My favorite Hisuian form, probably Voltorb. I love how it like looks a lot nicer and much more on the cute side than regular Voltorb. And I also love the theme of how its shiny form turns into an Ultra Ball, whereas regular Voltorb's shiny turns into a Great Ball. Voltorb is neat, yeah. Plus Grass Electric is an amazing type combo. Also the Electric type- ah, Jinx! Yeah, we said it at the same time. Let's see, what other legend- uh, what other Hisuian variants are there? There's each of the starters. Which, I think they did very well with all of them. Samurott is probably the least unique out of the three. But it's still not bad, by any means. And I love how it picks up the fighting type. I thought regular Samurott was... Or maybe it's dark type. Maybe I'm missing remembering that. I don't remember. I'll have to check. Um, and then what else is there? There's Ursa Luna. So cool. Such an amazing Pokemon. Super strong, too. Um, oh, there's, uh, what is it? The other evolution besides Scissor. Cleaver. Cleavor. Ursaluna is on my main team, and Alpha. Alpha Ursaluna, nice. I planned a shiny hunt of Teddy Ursa in Gen 3, and I want to transfer it up all the way to Gen 9, and evolve it into an Ursaluna. My thing is, I don't know if you can evolve, uh, can you evolve Urs Ursa Ursaring into Ursa Luna? Or is that, like, you have to transfer it into Legends Arceus to do that? I caught a shiny Teddy Ursa in Pokemon Go. Nice! I love the little green teddy bear. You have to evolve it in Arceus, I think. Gotcha. Uh, what other Hisuian forms are there? So we've said Cleaver, we said Ursa Luna, we said the three starters. Ursa Luna is the second one. Oh, you got Basculegion. Ghost Water is a great typing, and it's all right. 
not my favorite out of them, but I think it's really cool, and I think it's got some potential to be very strong and competitive. Then what's the next one we encounter? Hisuian Arcanine. That, I love, love the look of it. Overall, I think it looks cool. I think Fire Rock is pretty weak as a typing, though, because you're what? You're weak to rock. You're four times weak to ground. You're four times weak to water. You got a lot of weaknesses, but pretty strong. Basket Legion design is awesome. Yeah. Um, what is after Growlit or Arcanine? What other places do you unlock? You unlocked a snow place where you basically see Hisuian Zorark. Hisuian Zorark looks amazing. And you also get Avalug. Oh, Hisuian Sneasel and Hisuian Electrode. Yeah, we talked about Electrode, that's right. The... what is it? What is it called? It's... is it Sneaseler? I saw... I'm not very familiar with this Sneaseler. I think its attack is pretty strong, right? A 30% chance to poison, burn, or paralyze when you attack or something like that? Avalug looks amazing, but I'm not gonna lie. It's got probably the worst type combination in the game you could have possibly given it. And Braviary. I don't know. Uh, I pr Actually, I'll be honest, and no disrespect to anybody, but now that I think about it, I forgot about Hisuian Braviary. And as of right now, I do, as always, retain the opportunity to change my opinions when we go back to Legends Arceus. But as of right now, Braviary Hisuian form has got to be my least favorite of the Hisuian forms. My favorite would probably be Electrode, or sorry, Voltorb. Then Hisuian Zora and Zorark. Then Ursaluna. I haven't used it much. My team ATM Typhlosion. Hisuian Typhlosion is 8 S tier as well. Weird Hero. Oh, I forgot about that one. That one's pretty cool. Cleaver. Cleaver's great. Ursaluna Basque Legion. Last spot still undecided. Get the uh, legendary. Get the last. Get the last of the genie, the G the genie quad, the uh, the pink one. Are these all just regular? Or did you shiny hunt them? I'm gonna guess regular though, since you said that shiny hunters are crazy. I'm gonna guess you don't do much shiny hunting yourself, or maybe you just don't do them like that. Oh, I haven't caught those yet. Me neither. I honestly I lost interest in that pink genie when I found out it was shiny locked in Legends Arceus. If it wasn't, I would have totally hunted it, but it's shiny locked. Which is an unfortunate thing that they're doing too much. I would have shiny hunted the tree, uh, the, sorry, the Swords of Ruin. I would have done that genie. Only shiny I've seen in Arceus was Ponita that they give to you. That's a great quest. I love that one. I've seen quite a few. I was in the middle of a shiny only playthrough of Legends Arceus way back when I only had like one YouTube subscriber. So this was a year or so ago, uh, uh, probably like two years ago. And uh, my data got deleted. I had a shiny Whirlpool, shiny Ponyta, Cricketot, Ghastly, Onyx. Um, yeah, yeah, there was a couple others that I had. I want to find it. I want to say I found a shiny Yanma as well, but that might be incorrect. I found a shiny Roselia. You get, cr you get shinies like crazy in that game. I 
my uh, towards the end of my time playing Legends Arceus, I was focused on trying to get a shiny Alpha Gyarados. It's a great game. It's it's got to be in my top five easily, just because I feel like it pushes the Pokemon franchise forward so well. I think that it actually looks really really good in comparison to other Pokemon games. I love I love the changes they made to it. Um, I think all the Hisuian forms generally er, I can't I guess I can't say all with Hisuian Braviary but for the most part the Hisuian forms are really good and cool. Uh, I think they just do it. It has an air of reality to it. Yeah because I mean like one of the things, too, I'm thinking of is is when you're doing battles, right? You can run around while your Pokemon are battling. So if you could accidentally run in between the two Pokemon battling, and then you could get hit with a move and knock down, you know? Which I think is awesome. And when all your Pokemon faint, you don't, like, black screen and go back to the last, last Poke Center you've been at. You just, you can't battle anymore. And I think that I think that's very very big. And get hit, yeah. How you interact with the words slash Pokemon? Oh yeah. And I loved seeing all the what you would call it, like the I don't know the ancestors or the hints at, at Pokemon in the gen various generations. I love trying to be like, oh, I know that person, or that person's related to that one. I, I will be honest, I haven't finished the game. I don't know where you're at, but I'm stuck trying to complete the Pokédex last time I played. I told Andre him and I were going to do a shiny only run through the game again. No worries, Lupus. I've been working crazy too. I know how it is. But it's good you stopped by. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hopefully you're bringing some good luck. I need I need this Moltres. I didn't play Diamond and Pearl yet, so I don't know many of the chars. Uh, I apologize. I have a horrible memory, Vita. Am I correct in saying that you were the person who is playing through each of the Pokemon games starting at Generation 1? Or was that somebody else? I just beat the story, filling out the decks, and I'm starting to get the legendaries. I am doing that, brother. Thought so. I'm glad I glad I was right on that. I don't didn't want to like come off like, oh, you don't even know me. I want a hundred percent that game. I'm I, I'm currently playing Crystal. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I shine. I uh. Honestly, I bought Crystal on the Virtual Console just so I could shiny head Celebi. Much longer than I remember. But yeah, how are you doing, Lupus? You doing alright? Thank you so much for stopping by. We're chatting... Chatting up, uh... About Legends Arceus. How much of a good game that is. Talking about Pokemon in general and... And trying to get this... Shiny Moltres. I need some really good luck after our horrible luck with Articuno. You missed that hunt, Lupus, so I'm, I'm sure you're very glad you missed that. 76 hours. 37,000 encounters. This exotic got work in about four and a half hours. Yeah, I'm on my four. Uh, I'm on my four-day weekend this week, so I spent all day today looking at places that I could potentially move to. I'm so I'm at a point where I can do one of a couple things. The first one is I stay in this house, renting this house out with my cousin, who is my roommate. The second option is I look at trying to get a loan for this house and purchasing this house and then I rent out the two spare bedrooms or just one spare bedroom 
to uh, pay for the house and get it paid for as soon as I can. And the third option is I just go find a apartment to go live in while I save up more money for a bigger down payment. So well, that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out now. And I'm trying to find out before uh, January. I need to find a place, or I need to solidify things by January. Do you enjoy the house? It's okay. I mean, to be honest, it's... If I buy the house, it's going to be one of those things that I live in until I pay it off, which I'm going to try and pay off as soon as I can, and then I'm going to turn around and rent it. I want to start renting out houses to create like a passive income, and I think it'd be a great opportunity for that. Gotcha. I'm not super picky uh, about my home. I like it to be nice, for sure, don't get me wrong. but. Um, I also care a lot about affordability. That being said, I'm not going to go get a house in a sketchy neighborhood, you know. I don't want to wake up one day and my catalytic converter's gone, which has unfortunately been happening way too much around here these past few years. Or I don't, I don't want people to find out that I have a couple cool game systems. And they break into my house while I'm at work and take all my game systems. Yeah, adulting sucks. My birthday is Wednesday. <coughs> Damn, you gotta work on your birthday? I'm sorry. Happy early birthday, though. You wanna become our enemy, a landlord? <laughs> yes. Landlord Titan. Bust in the door whenever I want. Set up the cameras. If your grass is a centimeter higher than what it should be, I'm gonna find you. Hope you at least get some gifts. Heck yeah, I hope you at least, hope, hopefully work is easy. Are you just working to pay bills? Trying to save money to do something? What, what are you working for? Or what, uh, what are you working so much for? I should say, haha, uh -huh, too real dude. <laughs> I'm also trying to avoid HOAs for that exact reason. Vita. I don't want to get into an HOA and then because everybody I talk to who owns a house in an HOA they just tell me all the time about how like just horror stories or or just make me not want it I understand that the good side is they kind of create some kind of restrictions so your property value doesn't drop but at the same time the idea that some other person who lives in the neighborhood if they don't like what I'm doing, they can hit me with fines and then put a lien on my house and try and get me kicked out of my own house. I hate that so much, you know, and I don't, I don't like that. What's HOA? HOAs are, uh, they're companies here. Basically, uh, any neighborhood either has an HOA or it doesn't. HOA stands for Homeowners Association. And uh, what they do is basically, um, if, if your neighborhood has an HOA, uh, the HOA has specific guidelines on your house. For example, you cannot have a car on your lawn, or your car cannot be sitting in your driveway for too many days without being driven, or you can't put up things in your backyard. Uh, specific things like for example maybe a trampoline or um, things along these lines right and and they have very specific guidelines that they uh, have the entire community in force and the idea here is that by following these um, these guidelines your property value stays high because all the houses in the neighborhood look really nice because of these guidelines and if you don't follow the guidelines uh, the HOA can fine you and if you refuse to pay the fines or if you keep creating issues then they can essentially put a, a lien on your house and and try and get you kicked out of your house 
And I've also heard that they that if you try and sell your house when you're in an HOA, you have to get approved from the HOA in order to sell your house. So you don't even have the freedom to just sell your house whenever you want. You have to get approval first. Oh, I've heard of that? Yeah. No, I don't really care to get gifts, and I'm an assistant manager, and people call off or quit. So I have to work a lot more for my birthday. I'll be working with my dad at his store because his assistant manager took it off. So instead of me working at my store, I'll be working at his cover. Damn. Well, hopefully you make that big money so you can treat yourself to something special. One thing I like to do is I like to make the big money now and save up more so that I can retire sooner. It's a good thought. But you know, maybe you want to buy a bunch of Pokemon games, you know, you could do that too. I had an addiction to buying Pokemon games on Mercari. I've spent too much money, but now I'm cutting back. I have to, unfortunately. I'd love to buy a second English copy of Leaf Green, second Pokemon Black copy. Still need another Black 2 and White 2, but I'm just not in a financial place to get those things. I'm gonna go to sleep. All right, Lupus, I hope you sleep well. Hopefully work goes by pretty smoothly for you. Not much issues. Thank you again for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It's always nice having you around. See you around. But Vita, I need you to bring more good luck like you did for the Articuno. I've got... Two people now who think I'm going to get it in under 2,000 encounters. One of them said 1,000. Bro, have an amazing hunt. Thank you. I need... I need this. Good luck. We are so over odds in general on our Kanto hunts. Our average is... I think... I wonder what our average is now with Articuno because I think when Articuno was at 12,000 our average hunt was 9,000 encounters so I wouldn't be surprised if that puts our average shiny hunt up to 10 or 11,000 You know what? Let's switch up the OST. Let's let's get some uh, Legends Arceus OST. I wonder. I want to hear the music for our Legends. Six hours of music. Dang. That's a lot. So if you're on crystal right now, Vita, does that mean you've already beaten gold and silver as well? Or are you only doing one game per generation? If I remember correctly, I think you said you're doing all of them. But I I R C This sounds like horror game music right now, you know, building up the anticipation before the zombie things jump out at you in dead space.
Oh, I got my first batch of 150 Gen 1 into home. Nice, nice. How are you looking on uh, Gen 2 right now? How many more have you got for Gen 2? 2,000. At least. Between two to 5,000. What? Well, I mean, if I can get Moltres in under 2,000 like you're predicting, then... I said it's a little over 2,000. No, every time you said it was under. Uh-uh. Excuse me. 2, 1, 3, 5. Then there's 2. Eight, nine. I haven't caught Glitch Mew, but it won't transfer. What do you mean, Glitch Mew? What is a Glitch Mew? And what do you, what do you mean, transfer? Um, what's not letting you transfer? I had no idea that they had countermeasures like that to stop you from transferring hacked mods or, or uh, the teleport glitch. Is that the thing right outside of Lavender Town that you can... I, I only saw it once so I don't know exactly what happens but I think you stand just to the left of Lavender, Lavender Town. Oh, Cerulean. Oh, okay, never mind. I have no idea what that is before Misty. I don't know that one then. By the Nugget Bridge. You teleport away as soon as you get into a trainer fight. And then what? You run into a patch of grass and you get Mew? <laughs> Fight the trainer with the slow poke. Interesting. That's crazy. When you run to Nugget Bridge again, Mew pops up. That's cool. You know, the crazy thing is... Like, how did they find that out? What kind of crazy person was testing this teleport strat on every trainer and then just found Mew that way. Yeah, they don't allow it to get into bank. Pokemon Bank. That's the one on the 3DS. Because the only legit Mew is the one Game Freak distributed. Uh, there should also be the legit Mew from Gen 3, I, which I plan to shiny hunt. I'll be pissed if I shiny hunted and then it turns out that they don't count it as legit, so it has to be Game Freak OT and ID. That one is legit. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that hunt. At some point. Maybe we do Mew Mewtwo for our 100 sub special. I have like two or three. I have two Japanese emeralds. So I can 2x hunt Mew. Nice. I don't know, there's so many options out there for our 100 subs. We're still super far away though, we're only like almost 60, so it's not like we're gonna get there anytime soon. You can definitely get it and get it into bank. Yeah. Now the trick is just doing it before they close down bank. Which, knock on wood, hopefully that's not anytime soon. Alright, we're at a thousand encounters, so we're gonna do one more and then a quick stretch break. My left ear is starting to hurt a bit, so we'll take a two minute stretch break, everybody. And when I get back, we'll continue shiny hunting. They said service is ending in April. They said 
Yeah, everything except for Pokemon Bank. Pokemon Bank doesn't have a set time frame, but they did say transfer your Pokemon as soon as possible. So it just makes me worried. You know? Because there's so many hunts I want to do still in these old games. That's just what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, believe me, racing against time. That's why I've put all the other games on the side and have focused so hard on my shiny hunts. I want to get as many done as possible before then. All right, stretch break, everybody. Two minutes. What? 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 My food, that's what I'm missing. Uh, no, I don't know which one you think that is. That's mine. All of it's mine. None of it's yours. Nope, mm -mm. nope, these are all mine. I'll remember that next time. It's oh, my money. mine. Paper. Oh my. Kind of take one of my burgers. Kind of take one of my burgers. Really? Yeah. I only need one left. Huh. Oh. I don't know. Let me see. No, I'll see deal it. with it later. Let me see it. it hurts. Let me see it. It hurts. Let me see it. No. Let me, let me do it the way I want to do it. No. Yes. No, you're right running out of time. Watch your show. Alright. Welcome back everybody. Wendy's TM So as y'all for those y'all who are newer to the stream um, As you can see on this on the stream layout my target is Moltres 
And the Pokeball of choice is a Premier Ball. So our primary goal is to try and catch it in a Premier Ball. Each of these games, except for... Um, I think except for this fire red one that you see on the bottom right. I think every game except for that one has 50 Premier Balls. And every one of them has at least 300 Pokeballs. And then, worst comes to worst, a Master Ball as well. You know, I find it so crazy that Pikachu's not in the regular Pokemon Black and White Pokédex. Same for Magikarp and Gyarados. I feel like those those three Pokemon right there, I feel like are in every single Pokemon game. I got 20 minutes to do 120. To make sure that I'm at or above the time frame that I've set myself. I should be doing a minimum of uh, 600 encounters per hour. So if I want to stay on that goal, I have to hit at least 120 encounters minimum within 20 minutes.
You know, the one thing I have an issue with in Legends Arceus is how long the intro to the game is. I feel like it just takes forever to get to the part where I'm actually free roaming and able to play the game my way. That is, that is the only negative thing I have about that game. Which on the on the first playthrough, I'm sure it's not that bad, but when you're like me and you're doing multiple playthroughs or you know replaying it, it's like yeah, come on, hurry up, let me skip this. And I believe Volo is one of the coolest Pokemon, uh, one of the coolest people in in Legends Arceus as well. He's awesome.
<sighs> One hour of facts. The best Pokemon facts on YouTube. I wonder what kind of facts they are. Little Ralts on a Rhyhorn along with a. Oh man, what's this a Juice base form? It's not Hoot Hoot. Yeah, I can't think of anything other than Hoot Hoot. It's definitely not that, though. I 
have no idea. So we have at least five minutes left to do as many encounters as we can. Hundred encounters. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's what you're doing. <laughs> what am I doing? Why do you have a napkin under the seat then? Maybe. Twelve thirty two. This sounds more like Mario music than Pokemon music. Yeah, you know what? We were talking and we missed like your favorite Hisuian form, Lilligant. Lilligant's not too bad. That's also a good, good Hisuian form. Oh! Oh, you missed it! 
What? Off the backboard! Oh, good job. You should quit school and go play basketball for a living. I'm too short for that. I know. Nostalgic Pokemon music, but it's only Gen 5 for 48 minutes. Nice guys, so we're 72 encounters over our target, which is big. Which means this next hour, we should get to over 100, I think.
Thirteen twenty. You know what else is crazy too is this games don't have X special defense. Literally has every other X item in the game except for special defense. Which is a shame. did stuff. No. What? No, not tonight. Because I said so. I want to right now.
Do you think Moltres likes carrots? No. That's a shame. Why? It's just not about feeding it a carrot. Party poop? Oh, it's the flute.
I there's so many hunts to do after this. I don't even know what. So I think we're gonna hit between two to five thousand encounters tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna start the stream off by doing Darmanitan. Um, I'm only gonna do two DS's for Darmanitan, but each of them will be six X hunting. So I guess you could say it's twelve X hunting uh, for Shiny Darmanitan. I'm hoping since we're doing so many. I hope it goes by really fast. And then after that... I don't know what would be next. Um, probably going to come back to Moltres. Probably do another couple thousand tomorrow night. All assuming I don't get it tonight. Fourteen seventy six.
Sorry everybody that I'm pretty quiet today. I hope y'all don't mind just chilling. I'm just kind of jamming out, knocking out these encounters. I'm just 
thinking about all all the different shiny hunts I want to do and everything. I just keep going back and forth on that. Oh, Vita, thank you. Let me drink my last little bit of Arnold Palmer. What? Nothing, you just redeems uh, channel points. Was it the music that got you to want to do that, Vita? I'm addicted. <laughs> That's good. You're in good company. I beat it in like two days. I ain't no shame in that. Starting to hunt the legendaries now. Nice. Have you ever done any shiny hunting? Aside from the shiny ponytail that you said you got? I do a bit on the easy games. So just throwing this out there, but how would you feel if I was to say, let's do like a community kind of race thing where we shiny hunt, we pick a game, we all just like do a badge quest or a DTQ in that game. Like I got shiny Verizian the t first time I was here. Oh yeah, that's right. That was you with the shiny Verizian. See, I told you I have horrible memory. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. And then I told you to go hunt the other ones, and you said the other ones are meh. Kind of not nearly as... Definitely Verizian is the best shiny out of the three. I wonder what Keldia looks like shiny. That'd be fun. Ooh, it's orange. It's or it's green instead of blue. Like a teal is green. Although I probably lose. Eh, who knows? It'd be a great way to have some fun, though. Where's the different forms? Perfect. Well, now we just need to figure out a game and who all wants to join. I got all the games on my 3DS. Ooh. 
Are you wanting to go to one in eight thousand odds though, or are you wanting to stay new gen and do one in four thousand? Shiny hunting noob, I take better odds all day. Heck yeah. I need to. Do you have the DLC and sword and shield as well? Well, never mind. Obviously, you do if you're able to hunt Verisian and that. Do you have both DLC though? Or is. Because I can't remember if Verisian is in Isle of Armor or. If it's in the crown tundra. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna guess yeah, yeah, to both DLC. Verisian is DLC too, okay. Did they split up the trio in, in between the two DLC? Or am I just misremembering? Because I could have sworn you find Terrakian on, on, uh, on the first DLC. Nah. Man, what is it then that I'm thinking of? It's all DLC too. Oh well, irrelevant. The point I was getting at is I need to get a team together to help me shiny hunt Zygarde in Dynamax Adventures. Uh oh, my first DS is mostly just Urshifu. I'm hoping Teal Mask will bring out a way for me to shiny hunt Urshifu. Alright, last soft reset and then I gotta turn off this DS. By last soft reset, I mean I accidentally did a reset, so this is the last soft reset. I'm down, man. You do DAs all the time? What? What? For what? No, oh, I'm not doing things for you. Alright everybody, quick stretch break, I'll be right back. Two minutes, don't go anywhere. When I come back, we'll make the push to 2,000 encounters. What? Why don't you get your butt up and do that?
Well, it's the cup you're getting. Did not know Shiny Moltres was pink, now I like it even more. Yeah, what what color did you think it was? Orange. What's up, Andre? How you doing, buddy? Where you been at? Where you been at, little bro? I've been looking for you.
That's a good question, I never looked. Well now you know. And you know what they say, the more you know. And now, just to really reinforce the lesson tonight, I need to get a live example to show you, Andre. I can't just have you look at a... a gif. Andre's hoping you're, or Vita's hoping you're doing well, Andre. That's nice. You've been watching Deadly Canadian? Has he been streaming lately? music for mess spirit caught two more nice what as elf and yuxi right that's right big brain Thing. As elf is blue, Uxi is yellow, and Mesprit Mesprit is pink. Glad you're doing well, Andre. Yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't done too much Gen Four, but I still remember the majority of it. Playing some Arceus. Heck yeah. Congrats on the Miss Spirit, that's awesome. Yeah, congrats. I wonder how deep the pink is gonna look on the three on the DS when I get to it.
Once again, this black DS is not reading my finger in, uh, like the button presses. 1700 encounters, by the way, that's crazy. Warm Ultra's got the short end of the stick on the bling. Yeah. If Articuno had turned purple, Zapdos turns blue, and Moltres if it turned black or red. Red body, black flames, or blue flames, and a black body. And then you could make Zapdos white. Ooh, a white Zapdos would be clean. Red would also look really nice. Like their Galar forms, those look dope. Oh yeah. Their Galar forms are great. I love Galarian Zapdos. Kobo vibes. Not gonna lie, I don't know what Chocobo is. Maybe I do, I just don't remember the name, but it's not bringing anything to mind. From Final Fantasy. Oh, I'm out of touch with Final Fantasy. Wait a second, is it those animals that they ride around all the time? Or th is that a Chocobo? Ah, it is. The big birds you ride, yeah. I played a very small bit of, I think it was 14 or something. The one with the car, you have like your friends and you ride around in the car. I need to go back and finish that game. And then I want to play the other Final Fantasies as well. Oh, that's 15. And they're on, what, 16 right now? That one isn't that good. I like the movies they do with them. How is the new one? Have you played the new one? About 1 through 9 are masterpieces. Huh. I like 15 and the movies, but it's not that good objectively. I haven't played the new one, don't have a PS5. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that's right, they're PlayStation exclusive and all that good stuff. I'm a broke boy, haha. Yeah, I get that feeling. I I sometimes just mess with myself and I look at Makari and I see Pokemon Emerald copies and I'm like, man. And then I just remind myself I ain't got money for that. You know. The last game I think I bought was Super Mario RPG. Retro Pokemon prices are insane. Yeah, you can thank COVID for that. COVID and Jake Paul and scalpers. I saw Pokemon Red going for 2k in my currency. Damn. One point one K is minimum wage. For like how much? 
What do you mean minimum wage? Like 1.1k is 40 hours a week minimum wage or what? Yeah. You gotta work two weeks, baby, to afford that game from 1996. Just to give you a baseline of how absurd the price is, yeah. It's a good way to think about things, like, oh, in order for me to afford this, I have to work X amount of hours. No, two months. Damn. That's even worse. How expensive is stuff where you live? You said you live in South America? Or was it South Africa? South America, man. We got screwed, yeah. It was America, yeah. What part, if you don't mind me asking, of course. Kind of a private person, sorry man. Hey, no worries at all. No need to divulge things, just... Just curious. Overall, the con the continent seems pretty nice, in my opinion. As far as like, what I think of South America, I think of like rainforests and and very very nice forests. But I apologize if that uh, offended you. Lots of straight up jungles. It's the truth. No, no, it's the truth. What was the truth? Oh, I was saying I hope I don't offend you by I didn't offend you by asking a question of where you live thing. I don't mean to, if so. But Thank you. Do you worry uh, about things like... You know, never mind. I'm not going to say that because I don't want to jinx anything. glad to hear it I don't either it takes quite a bit to be honest but I would rather not offend you and make sure that I didn't rather than offend you and assume I didn't this is one of the best songs in Scarlet Violet In my opinion, if I was to be honest, I would say Viol Scarlet and Violet are top three, uh, in the top three best Pokemon games ever. 
A lot of people don't like Scarlet and Violet, but for me, um, what really brings it home is I love the character progression in the game, and I love the open world style and the end game. After you beat the Elite Four and complete all the different quests, so like there's four different quests that you can do, or three different quests, and once you complete all three of them, which one of them is the Elite Four? There's like an end quest that involves all of them, and it's it really is just absolutely perfect. And and that end quest and the open world for me really makes Scarlet and Violet like a top tier game. But there's a lot of people who don't like it, and you know there's plenty of issues with it. There's bugs in the game, um, controversy with DLC, and of course the national decks isn't a thing anymore. But personally, I love the game. I think it's great. Really? Wow, that's interesting. Right now, my favorite games would have to be Hoenn Gen 3 as number one. I think Legends Arceus would have to be number two, or Scarlet Violet number two. Those two would go back and forth, so one of them would be number two, one of them would be number three. And then after that, I will put Black and White at number four. Now there is some endgame that I haven't finished in black and white. Um, but black and white is a really good game as well. Highly recommend. They said it used to run like trash. Don't know if they fixed it. Um, I'd say I'm a pretty average gamer. Like, I don't really notice a lot of different things, like HDR, uh, for example, like I struggle to notice these kinds of things unless it's like side-by-side -side comparisons. And for me personally, I'm just saying that so you can get a baseline of comparison between you and me, but personally, I didn't have any issues. The biggest things that was frustrating for me, which they fixed, is was the max basically what you would call the max raid dens in scarlet violet um it was just really annoying back in the day because it would be you would do a move and then all your teammates would do a move and then the enemy would do a move and then the enemy would do another move and then the enemy would shield and it would take like it felt like it take five minutes for you to go into your second move Terror Raids. Yes, Terror Raids. But they fixed that. They made it much faster. That was the biggest, most frustrating thing for me. Um, did I ever have any other issues with the game? A lot of people complained about Pokemon spawning outside of the map. So, like, there's... Sometimes you would get, like, hordes to spawn. And some of the hordes could spawn in outside, like, behind walls or inside of walls. Whatever you want to call it. Um, there's little tri tips and tricks that you can do to find them. And if there is, like, a shiny that spawns in the wall, you can still obtain it. It just takes some maneuvering. Um, but I can say that out of all the issues... The Raid Dens was the only one that negatively affected my gameplay, and it's probably fixed by now. Um, everything else I didn't really notice, or it wasn't that big of a deal for me. BDSP remakes, those look awful. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just... If you don't have Diamond and Pearl, and you want to get it, then you just get it on the Switch. Um, that's literally all it is. Of course, if you want to Shiny Hunt Arceus, which I don't know if that's something you're into or not, I will eventually. But if you want to do that, then you need BDSP. But they definitely didn't do that well. And a lot of people blame the company, that the third party that did the remake, but... I'm more than willing to put the money on the fact that I think they were overly restricted by the Pokemon company, and I don't think it was their fault. Ilka? Yeah. 
I think if you a good since you have Sword and Shield, I would say if you enjoyed Sword and Shield, then you'll definitely enjoy Scarlet and Violet. I think everything good about Sword and Shield, Violet does better. Uh, the story in Scar Sword and Shield was not very good in my opinion, and it's way better in Scarlet and Violet. Um, of course, I mean Pokemon's not known for its graphics, but Scarlet and Violet looks better than Sword and Shield in my opinion. The map is a lot better. Um, Pokemon, they're really cool Pokemon in Gen 9. I mean, don't get me wrong, Phalanx is in my top 10, but uh, I would say Gen 9 overall has more cool Pokemon than Gen 8. Uh, some of the shinies are a little disappointing for sure, but overall. I haven't played the DLC yet. I'm waiting for the two DL. I'm waiting for the second DLC to come out, and then I'm gonna play them both at once as a solo Pokemon playthrough. But I have heard that the first DLC is super short, so don't put a lot of stock in expecting the DLC to be super, super crazy tier. I see. I love Sword and Shield. It's what got me into Poke back into Pokemon after like 20 years. Yeah, for me it was Pokemon Go. I remember I was at work one day. I was working at a at a car shop called Pet Boys, and uh, my assistant manager at the time came in, and they were like, "Oh my gosh, did you get the new Pokemon game?" And I was like, "No, what?" And then they showed me on the phone, and I was like excited. So we downloaded Pokemon Go, and we were just spent the entire day at work playing Pokemon Go. And then from there I got Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And then I got back into Pokemon. Found a couple of streamers and YouTubers who liked it. Who, uh, who did some cool Pokemon stuff. One that I'm ashamed I found because he turned out to not be cool. But on the, on the other side I have to be thankful that because of him I found... The better ones. Bro, I think Pogo sucks. I just play every now and then because it's Pokemon. Oh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, like these days I don't like Pokemon Go. I stopped playing Pokemon Go uh, a while back. And I get some spurts where I'll download it and like do walks around my town and play it. But uh, at the time, it was the first time I had gotten back into Pokemon after... No, I wouldn't say 20 years, but I mean, uh, let me, let's, let's do the math real fast. Let's see how long I had gone without playing Pokemon. Um, Pokemon Black. Release. Pokemon Go. Release. Date. Okay, so it was about six years for me. Pokemon Black and White came out September 18th, 2010. I got one of those games and I played it a little bit. Uh, as I say in my first playthrough, I, I got to Castella City and I got to the desert and that was about it. And then just life kind of got in the way and I stopped playing Pokemon. And then July 6th, um, I got into Pokemon. Day one. I'm a day oneer. Pokemon Go is a lot of fun if I have friends, but uh, one reason why I stopped playing it is I just don't... And uh, there's no offense to anybody, or I mean no offense to anybody who really likes the Pokemon that they get on there. But I just don't value my shinies in that game nearly as much as I do in these games because I feel like they just give them to you way too easily. Like, what, legendary raids are 1 in 16 or 1 in 100 odds? And you could make the argument for the newer games for sure, but every month they have community day and you walk away with like 30 of those Pokemon that are shiny and in one in like three hours. There's very little game there. Yeah. 
And then it just kind of got tiring how it's like, oh, you know, spend money on raid passes. Catching is kind of random battles are awful, you see. I will say though, I need to use, uh, I need to use Pokemon Go to get a couple of shinies. One of them being Meltan and Melmetal. So if everybody can help me keep an eye out for those, and when those come around to get get them shiny, let me know because we need to get them for our living decks. And I won't lie, I did buy the shiny Mew events so if for whatever reason i'm not able to get the shiny mew in uh third gen i can at least get it in pokemon go and complete that dex entry got melmetal in home for installing pokemon go that was great yeah i remember that is meltan and melmetal a mythical or a legendary I have the feeling it's a uh, mythical, but I would love for it to be a legendary because I'd love to see it in competitive, but I don't think it's allowed because I think it's a mythical. No idea. I had never heard of this Pokemon before. Let's see. Is Meltan a mythical? Meltan is a mythical Pokemon. I mean, it makes sense. Mythicals ex uh, only exist to make money for Pokemon. What gen is it from? Um, I don't think it's specifically from a generation. I think it's sitting in between gen 7 and 8. What gen is Meltan? Uh, it's part of Generation VII, which I think is 7, but I'm not very familiar with my Roman numerals. Uh, oh, this guy says Melmetal and Meltan are Gen 8. They debuted, oh, just like Togepi and Meryl, they debut earlier than the generation was revealed. Uh, just like how Togepi and Meryl were. Yeah, it's either 7 or 8. Everybody keeps going back and forth. One person says it's like early release for Gen 8. Other people say it's Gen 7. So, your preference. I don't really think it matters that much because it's not a Pokemon you'll ever get a use really in competitive unless you... Yeah. Mythicals only exist to make money. You into comp? Oh yeah. I love watching Aaron Cybertron Zang and Wolfie VGC. Uh, I really want to compete in Pokemon competitively myself. I'm okay. I did. I got into competitive when I got into Sword and Shield. And 
I did all right. I mean, I've hit Master Bolts here a couple of times, but every tournament and Players Cup I did, I did pretty horribly in. Uh, my goal is that as I fill in the deck entries for my living decks, I want to use the shinies that I got on my journey and go to tournaments and eventually get to becoming world champion with these shinies. Because I think how cool would it be if I do a video like, ooh, I went to this regional and then I started off by introing each of the shinies and how I, how I acquired them. You know, it's like a journey, like an actual real life Pokemon journey. Best of luck to you. Hey, right, well, hopefully, hopefully you stick around for it. Maybe, maybe one day, then we will get your Pokemon in an event. Heck yeah. What if, what if I win a Pokemon tournament with the Articuno that I struggled with for 76 hours? And you can have it downloaded to you on an event code. And you'll be like, I was there when this original was shown up. That would be epic. The whole world could have that for five seconds of effort after I spent three days in a cold island. That's, uh, since you brought that up, I'm thinking, I've got a shiny Amoongus that I got that exact way. I think it was one of the Players' Cups or something, or the previous championships, the guy won with a shiny Amoongus, and I did the redeem code, and so that's how I have my shiny Amoongus. But I'm doing a soft reset in Gen 5, or going to be for Fungus, and I'm not sure if I should leave that as a Fungus, or if I should evolve it into Amoongus and use that one as my Amoongus shiny instead of instead of the uh, handout FC Foam Islands. Oh yeah. I kind of want to shiny hunt Slowbro in there but I never want to go back to see C, C Foam Islands so I'm gonna look at other places. You know what actually there is a better idea I think. Let me look at this real fast. There might be one other place that I can go instead. Let's do fire red. doesn't work so I guess if I'm gonna get slow bro then I'm gonna just have to get the I'm just gonna have to phase on Dragonair in the uh, in the Safari zone PTSD from Safari Zone. There's two hunts I really want to complete in Safari Zone. Three hunts, actually. So in um, Emerald, I want to get Teddy Ursa Safari Zone. And in Fire Red Leaf Green, I want Kangaskhan and Dragonair. Not Dratini, but actually Dragonair. Like the rarest, or one of the rarest shinies to get is a Safari Gen 3 Dragonair. Chansey would be cool for sure, but I would act honestly take Kangaskhan over Chansey.
That was the worst part of completing my Gen 1 decks. Yeah, that one... That one must have sucked. Trying to get a Tauros and a Chansey. Chansey Shiny is awful though, I have one in Sword. I found- I phased on Chansey in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee when I was hunting Diglett. It was pretty cool. Um, I personally am a big fan of the color green, so I'm not too bothered by it. Definitely could have been a better Shiny though. But I'm thinking I'm gonna Shiny hunt if I do get the... Safari Zone Chansey, I'm gonna name it Nurse Joy, and my phase from Let's Go Pikachu and Easy is gonna evolve into Oblissi. And that'll be those two down. I love green Chansey, it looks like a spoiled egg though. <laughs> Two thousand encounters, everybody. I'd be out already. Alright. Let's be realistic and honest for a second. Do you think I'm gonna get it below or above odds? Odds are, yeah, odds are 8,192. We're already a quarter of the way there. We're almost a quarter of the way there. You're feeling about odds? Nice. Well... I'll take 8,000 instead of 80,000, so that's alright by me. For sure. Oh yeah. I still, like, honestly, I was terrified Articuno was going to 70,000. Because I kept thinking of uh, a shiny hunter called Supreme Arcanines. If you've heard of him. Uh, he was doing the Reggie Trio. I think he did it in Gen 4 though. And... Reggie Rock took him 75,000 encounters. Then he did Reggie Steel, I think it was. And that took him like another 20,000. But Reg Ice and uh, Reggie Gigas was pretty fast for him. Reggie Gigas was, I think, less than a hundred, and uh, Reg Ice was like two to four thousand. I think maybe it was ten thousand, bro. You shiny hunters. Yeah, we're crazy. Gen 300 just got a shiny Torchic and, or sorry, shiny Chikorita in Gen 3 uh, earlier this week. I think that was 10,000 encounters, I think he said, or something. Maybe it's 12.
Now all he's gotta do is tote it out. I'm hoping that's a under odds hunt. Twenty forty four. Jokes aside, I like to have this perseverance sometimes. Are you talking in life or in your own hunting on the Pokemon? In life in general, I guess. This music does make me want to play Scarlet Violet again, but I'm kind of stuck in a point where I can't play Scarlet Violet online. Switch online right now? No. So I've got... Um, Sword and Shield, so Terra Raids, they do events just like Sword and Shield, and I don't, pretty sure you could do this in Sword and Shield as well, but if you got an event and you just didn't update your Switch, or didn't update your game, you could keep the event as long as you wanted. Well, they had an event for Pokemon Day in like July, or August, and it was for Gold Dango. Or sorry, a Gimme Ghoul, which evolves into Gold Dingo. It's like a treasure chest Pokemon. And it's shiny locked in the normal game. So this is the only way to get shiny Gold Dingo. So I've saved the event on my Switch. And I'm not motivated to hunt it yet. But I really need to get in there and hunt for it. Is that the Pokemon that's golden? Yes, that's Goldingo, and its pre-evolution is the little chest. Get it? Gold? Saw it used a lot in the last VGC I watched. Yeah, it's very strong. High, it's got a good special attack. Not too bad speed. Steel Ghost is a great typing. 
and its ability prevents it from being affected by status conditions or status moves. That's like stupid good. But I think it's kind of fallen off lately because there's just faster, stronger Pokemon out there right now. Sorry, I'm a nerd. I geek out on this stuff. I've been slowly plotting about my plan to... ...to win championships with my favorite Pokemon, Gyarados. I think it's cool I wasn't being ironic, haha, uh -huh, but I don't know much either. Alright, 6, 12, 18. That's three hours. So we are on pace right now with our goal. Should I end at 4 hours which would put us at 2400? Or should I end at 5 hours which will put us at 3000 even? What do y'all think? What are y'all feeling? Are y'all vibing with me for another 2 hours? Or shall I go prep our Darmanitan hunt for tomorrow? At 420? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Twenty-one twenty.
2200 everybody nice job all around we're doing great Ooh, you got us off. Nice. Congrats. One to go. I did kill it once, but we don't talk about that. Heck yeah. Isn't as elf the hardest one too, where it makes you like do the questions over and over? <laughs> or maybe it mess spirits the hardest? I think it just asks you the question over and over again. I think as I was the hardest, yeah. And then I don't know, I don't remember what you have to do for Miss Spirit. And I have no idea what you have to do for Yuxi either. Oh. I forgot the other one too. Well, let's see. Azelf is willpower. Mess spirit is emotion. What is Uxi? I have no idea. Knowledge. Wait, it's knowledge, right? So, what would you have to do? Just answer some questions. Magic Carpet can learn the TM Hydro Pump. True or false? It's the trick question. It asks about how many eyes Pokemon have. Oh yeah, that's right. And then it goes like Zubat. Yeah, like it gives you a, a list of Pokemon and you have to go in order. So it's like something Zubat, something, and then you have to do like X, zero, X. if there's shiny locked in that game not that i'm gonna shiny hunt them in there i plan to hunt them in gen 4 anyways but still
Cerebi, the absolute best place to get your Pokemon information. They're all shiny locked, it seems. That's one of the sucky things about the new games, is they shiny lock every legendary. And the starters. I hate that. shiny hunt that much and I agree it sucks because even if you do or don't it's like it takes away the opportunity of ex of enjoying that hunts you know or it takes away that opportunity of just randomly finding that shiny or even give not even giving you the choice of saying hey I would like to shiny hunt them you don't even get that choice They said no. We're gonna you're gonna play the way we want you to. No shinies. And shiny hunting equals replay value, that's right, get them numbers up, not playtime up. I don't understand the logic behind it. Honestly, the only thing I could think of is the reason why they shiny hunt lock things. Um, is so that they can use events for them. To get players interested in events. Such as going to game your local game store. Or participate in this online event and then you can redeem this code to get this Pokemon shiny. And for the starters in Gen 9, I think the reason why they're shiny locked is they didn't want to code the opportunity for them to be shiny in the cutscenes that they appear in. So I think it was probably a... they didn't want to invest the development time to add that color change, is my guess. I guess, and us in places outside in a EU ASN get screwed. Yeah, because we don't get those events. Well look, if I ever get those events and I can get some extra ones, I'll give you one. I got your back. Noise. Heck yeah.
I'm not gonna lie. That, uh... Fire Red game, out of the corner of my eye, that Moltres looked shiny. I'm starting to see things, everybody. starts playing tricks oh yeah I don't know if I said this during the Articuno when I was trying to catch Articuno but seeing the shiny show up on screen I'm certain I didn't miss the shiny like I felt like I saw I saw that immediately so I'm very confident I didn't miss the shiny I was just very unlucky
Hey, check out this next, uh, next set, 2424, that's a nice number.
they've changed this freaking commercials to unskippables. Twenty-five hundred encounters, everybody. I say that's a very strong start for the day. I'm gonna try and push as close as I can get to three thousand, though, before we end stream. Is it just me or does this song sound like it's playing twice? Does anybody else hear that? Can't tell. The song is kind of low here. Uh, has the audio been okay though throughout the stream, or has it been pretty quiet overall? I think it's been kind of quiet. How's that? Better now?
2552. This music is good, where is it from? This is uh, the OST for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be honest, Andre, we ain't gonna hit that tonight. Chew Dino. NVM then. <laughs> but we'll we'll pick it up tomorrow for sure. You seeing it tonight? Positivity on trail. Let's make it spawn in. I promise you. Come on, Moultrie. Come on. Come on. Just do it. Don't let my dreams just be dreams. Just come across that screen pink. Shia Le oh Shia Power, there we go. Uh, at first I was thinking of a Chia pet when you said that. So that's why I said Shia. Just do it! Six hundred. Twenty six hundred encounters in four hours. I feel like that's really good time. What do y'all think? Would y'all agree with me saying that we're schmoving?
12 Days of Fitness at Planet Fitness. Join for $1 down, $10 a month. Offer ends December 15th. Yuxi in the bag. Heck yeah, you got a Yuxi bag now. Congrats. Like landers. I think the next ones are the elementals, landers, thunders, and oh man. Tornadus and what's the last one? I have no idea. Yeah, the pink one. That's shiny locked. Enamorous, yeah, bingo, right on the money. I kept thinking it started with C, but that's its ability, contrary. Closed eye got me on that far right DS leaf frame. My heart skipped a beat after that one.
sensitivity is so common, it immediately feels like somebody's poking directly on your nerve. I recommend Sensodyne. Y'all know what? It's been a minute. Let's take a stretch break. And when I come back, we'll do the last 300 encounters and see how I'm feeling. Alright, two minutes. I'll be right back.
Alright everybody, sorry about the delay there. Had to get me a nice glass of water. Water! Sandy, I need water. Twenty seven hundred encounters already, day one. Big numbers.
Alright. We're gonna finish off the night with Gen 3, uh, some of the best music in Pokemon.
200 away from hitting 3,000. Forty.
2880. We're closing in on that 3000 mark, everybody.
Alright everybody, I'm starting to get drowsy and I'm not being very entertaining, so we're gonna finish this hundred. Should take about ten minutes, and then that's it for stream tonight. And then like I said, tomorrow when I come in, we're gonna start with Darmanitan and finish up with uh, some of this, some more Moltres.
three more soft resets. Everybody cross your fingers and toes. This is our last chance tonight for a shiny Moltres. Two more tries. No, really? The music is gonna end right now? That's it everybody. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I'm sorry I was kind of quiet today. Six hour stream though, I feel like that was pretty good. Um, again, thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you for the support on the YouTube channel. I'm so excited that we've been actually getting more views and the Articuno video popped off. Uh, like I said earlier, tomorrow we're going to start with Darmanitan. I'm excited to do that. Gen 5 hunt on stream. Fingers crossed I can get some quick luck on that one. And then I also plan to do at least another 5,000 uh, Moltres encounters tomorrow. Or sorry, another 3,000 Moltres encounters. I plan to hit odds before the end of my four day weekend, which my last day off is Wednesday. So over the next two days, I'll do at least another 6,000 more. So, so. Thank you all so much for hanging out, everybody. I hope you have a good night, and I hope I see you tomorrow. Bye.